folks and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. Now where were we in the last episode? Uh, return to Darth Barris. And speak to Overseer Prithor. Right. So it remains to the name and file. And activate the red engine. Yeah. Might go back and this do that. This place is a long ago. This one has got to be the scariest. Uh, up, I think. I don't have any skills to buy. I don't think I have. And there he is, Naman Father. You don't belong here. You stand before the Chamber of the Dark Council, and this floor is off limits to all who are not Lords of the Sith. If you are not on official business, you will leave now. I've come with news about your son. So that is the smell you carry. It is said he went into the tomb of Naga Sadao to prove himself and was killed. He was such a weak boy. He shames me in death as he shamed me in life. Oh dear. When I heard of his death, I could not leave my post. Honor forbade it. Still, I would like to know what happened in there. Of course. Ask away, my lord. Your deference does you credit. Now tell me, where did you find his body? Did my pathetic son even make it past the first steps? In the end, was he Sith? He died right at the entrance of the tomb. <laughs> Pathetic indeed. Of course he did. Every moment of his life existed only to mock me. I will keep his bones to remind me of my shame and to focus my anger. But you have done me a service, and such deeds should be repaid. You have brought me pain and torment. I will return the favor. My son sought a relic I placed in the base of a cracked statue deep in the tomb. This crystal will release it. Now go. Oh, I don't remember that. Okay. Clem Norelli, Grave Robin. Nice. Was an excellent one, Barris, of course. You murderer! My father was a staunch traditionalist, and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? Um, uh, refresh my memory. I kill many people's fathers. You seek to add insult to injury? I'm Eskla Greiton. My father was Overseer Tremel. Remember killing him? Well, I don't know, but I am in possession of his ring. See? I'm going to rip that ring from your steaming corpse! I'm going to add your ring to the collection. You'll rue the day you took his life. Attack! Oh dear, no loot for me. 
I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Venran was not in my chamber as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. He did. Now his carcass feeds the tomb's beasts. Bravo. I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. It took you long enough. Mind your tone, my young initiate. <laughs> this is only the beginning. With you as my right hand, we shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Dromund Koss. Meet me at the Citadel there. Tell the Emperor I said hello. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Dromund Koss. Nice. I think we have yellow. Is it yellow or green now? Well, that for a change, I think. But I don't think I can use it yet. To be honest, oh, look at this equipment. Requires vet. Requires crew member appearance authorization. Okay. Don't think any of this is any good to us. We need to go and settle, I think. Come along, vet. Oh. Let's check on the... Uh... Skills while I'm here, I think. Just in case. Yes, there we are. The Force is a weapon. I will show you how to wield it. Show no mercy. in the uh, tomb, isn't it? Yes, that's the one. What do you want? I'm training slaves to feed the beasts, and I don't have time to chat. I'm here for a special meal. You know the kind. You... you've been talking to Seyrun, haven't you? That creature was... close to me when I was an acolyte. It helped me survive my trials. It traveled places I couldn't, told me everything it heard and saw. It had been living off vermin before I came along. I figured out a way to make it healthier, stronger. Seyrun's special meals. What is Seyrun exactly? I've never seen anything like it. Its people come from the planet Bis, but it's lived on Korriban as long as anyone can remember. Seyrun never knew exactly what I fed it. Its meals weren't just beast fodder. Zerun ate the corpses of the Academy's failures, the bones and blood of dead acolytes. Feeding on their energy after death, it grew exponentially more powerful with every meal, and became strong in the dark side. You fed the corpses of dead students to that thing? The sludge we feed to the slaves and the two Carter wouldn't have sated Zerun. And bodies pile up quickly here. It was an easy way to dispose of them. When I saw how twisted Seyrun was becoming, I sent it away. It was becoming hungrier all the time, and I feared it would attack the living. 
Destroying it seemed impossible. It could heal any injury it suffered. I hoped it would find a new home somewhere. But it seems we must act more decisively. We could. Or I could give it the meal it wants. Aid Seyrun and it will turn on us. One more taste of power and it will begin hunting Acolyte. I can't allow that. Together, we must poison Seyrun. Before I sent Seyrun away, I developed a powerful toxin. But I didn't have the heart to use it. It won't kill the creature, but it should strip it of its power. Serun helped you. It adored you. How can you be so ungrateful? If I thought I could keep that thing, I would. I tried, but Serun isn't what it used to be. Poisoning it would be merciful. If we do this, Serun won't survive much longer. It will hide as best it can and slowly starve. But the alternative is to let it become a living horror. Serun needs to become strong. It needs its food. Serun's not loyal to the Sith. Not to me, and certainly not loyal to you. But... I have a degree of loyalty to the creature. If this is what you insist on doing, I'll give you what Serun wants. We can learn something from its strength. It's strong in the dark side. Perhaps. This should be what you need. Feed it to Serun, and the creature will have the strength it desires. Let's hope we're not making a mistake. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, mate, because we're leaving this planet soon. Advice. Don't enter the tombs alone. Travel in numbers. Take plenty of Some say the madman in the tomb of Agenta Paul will kill you before the rest does. Don't listen to this coward. We're here to prove ourselves, aren't we? Go ahead. Ignore me. There'll be more to take your place. Did I? No, I didn't. Yep, just like I left it. This place is still ultra creepy. Maru, yar desh tum aate ki iski jinja mish ne je bolba. You won't have any complaints. Ja ki desh ne me bad badi ista da bas dia de aldi far futur ke isne. Remember this kindness, Serun. Remember the Sith who helped you, and that you don't need to kill. Nice one. Oh, damn it.
Two, two quests left, that's more the shuttle. So I think next time, I think we'll attempt to do the hit engine again, the uh, 2 plus, activate the red engine, and then get on our way to Drum and Cars. after we've learned all the skills of course at the uh, Imperial Fleet. So we'll call it there guys, don't forget if you do like the videos please leave a like for me and subscribe possible. Thank you very much guys, this is all Grace signing off.